So this is going to be a short video on how to ESL flag stuff in XEdit. Uh, the do's and don'ts, quick and short. So I'm about to install, let's say, let's say it's over here. Let's say uh, Community Overlays 2 is over here. I just installed it. Um, it's a pretty good mod. Just add some race menu overlays. Um, pretty short and simple. So uh, let's say, you know, I'm, I'm going to reinstall it, just for the sake of the argument. It has a BSA and an ESP, just for install like normal, replace, um, don't extract. Okay, then it's right here in my loader over. Um, so you you could see that it's slant, that it's italicized, um, a lot of these. That means that it's ESL flagged. Um, you could see, you could hover over it and it says at the bottom right there, uh, this ESP is, is, is flagged as an ESL. Um, but this one's, this one is not italicized, thus it's not ESL flagged. So how do we ESL flag this? Or should we ESL flag this? That's, that's the real question. So load up X at it, you know, load all your plugins. Uh, the first thing is how do we, you know, the first thing is how do we the second part is, should we? And the third is, well, that's kind of it. <laughs> Just how do we and should we? Um, the should part comes, well, the should part comes second. So how to, you simply, so, here, wait. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to community overlays. So go to the, go to the plugin, go to the header, and you see record flags right here. We're gonna just simply double click in here and then click ESL and that's it just close and save boom you're done um but let's say let's say um you let's say you don't know if you should ESL flag this so the do's and don'ts we're gonna run a, a, a quick script here now I'm, I'm gonna leave in the comment section some very useful scripts for xedit um that I have found so you're gonna you're gonna type in the box here is ESL for, for filter. Then the script is find ESP plugins, which could be turned into ESLs. You're just gonna run it. You're, you're just gonna click OK, let it run, and and right here in this box, it's or in this, uh, it's gonna show you all plugins that could hypothetically be turned into ESLs. Now you you see here. You see, some of these are just uh, this ESP can be can be turned into an ESL just by flagging it. Boom, that's easy. Um, can be turned into an, ESL, into an ESL by compacting the form IDs first. Now this is a little tricky. And then there's a third one. Can be turned into an ESL by by compacting the form IDs, but this has a new cell added into the world. This should not be this should not be um, turned into an ESL. This can cause problems. New cells never, never, um, ever compact the form IDs and turn it into an ESL. It's not worth it. It's going to break the mod most, most likely. You know, there's a very good chance that it will break the mod. Um, like this, this should not be turned into an ESL. Uh, this one shouldn't eat it. Uh, but the ones that say compact the form ID, okay. Well, this one's a, this one's a little different. Compacting the form IDs do do require a new save you cannot let's say let's say you find a mod on a nexus on the nexus and you want to add it to your game but let's say you're quite close to the plugin limit and you want to esl flag it you cannot compact and it, and it needs and it needs to be compacted the form ids need to be compacted do not comp compact the form ids mid save this will break the save 100 percent um but you know if it's a new game then you can of course uh, compact the form IDs. But how do you tell if you should or should not? So let's go to Embers XD here. Embers XD, you know, let's go into, you know, let's go into the, the contents of the mod. So it's just textures and meshes. Textures and meshes are quite, are quite safe to ES, to compact the form, I, form IDs and then ESL flag. However, if it has scripts attached to it, it's most likely going to break. 
You can try and test it and see if the mod is working, but most likely the mod will just break. Um, so I recommend if it has scripts, just don't don't compact the form IDs and don't ESL flag it. You know, either use it use another mod or take the hit and have it have it as an ESP. And the reason maybe another another thing that I should probably touch on is why should you ESL flag stuff? So the Skyrim the Skyrim engine has a 254 plugin limit, 254. Uh, the 255th slot, I can't talk, um, is used for, I believe, loading all the ESLs, and the 256th slot is used for memory, if I recall correctly. Uh, that is not, if that's not correct, it's 200, 254, 100%. You cannot go over that, you can go under that, obviously, but not over that. For ESPs and ESMs, and you can see in MO2, if you if you hold and click, you could see all of all of your plugins and ESMs, ESLs, blah blah blah. Your this number is the number that you want to, that you care about. This cannot go over two hundred fifty uh, four. Um, but yeah, so basically, all you do for the compacting of the form IDs, you just write, or I should probably show you how to. <laughs> I didn't actually show you. Uh, for em oh, so we were doing Ember Ember XD. You just right click compact form IDs into ESL. We could hit run right now. And once it's done, you could see if it's highlighted uh, or if it's bolded, I should say. And then just click the ESL flag and then boom, you're done. And another thing to note is compacting the form IDs will, s so you need to load all, you cannot simply just load the master file. If it has patches associated with it, do not simply do not ESL flag it. Um, do not ESL flag it alone. It needs to be loaded with its map or with with plugins that have its have it as its master. So you see right here, Lux and the Embers XD patch is bolded. And that means that it, that the form IDs were changed for that plugin as well. So if you have let's say you have a master plugin and you have a bunch of patches associated with it load the master plugin with its patches or even if it doesn't have a master if it has if it's associated in some way like this one well you know this one does have a master but if it doesn't and it's like a patch for it and, it, and let's say somehow it doesn't have a master um you should load it as well basically you could fix this problem by just simply loading all your plugins which is there is no harm it just takes maybe a little more time depending on your cpu and ran so yeah that's kind of basically the that's basic that's the basics of esl flagging it's quite easy once you get the hang of it um there there's probably more stuff that i have not learned uh yet i'm not gonna save right now um but yeah that's the basics thank you for watching you know leave suggestions on what i should maybe do next next in the comments and yeah thanks for watching